Hello comic book community, Lombox Love Affair here. I bought a new collection. I found this uh, collection and it's about uh, roughly five or six boxes worth. Um, they weren't completely full boxes. But uh, at the end of the day, there's a lot of 90s, a little bit of the t early 2000s comic books in there, but there, were so there was some gold uh, that I was really excited about. And frankly, I brought this box, these boxes home, and some of these books I didn't know were in the box, so it was really kind of surprising. So um, I'm going to do a series of videos that breaks up the collection. I'm not showing every book, um, and actually I, I, I've already started selling uh, the collection on eBay to make room uh, and, and make room in my space. Uh, so selling selling a lot of these books. Some of them I'm keeping, some of them I'm sending off to CGC, uh, and then a good majority I'm selling. So check out my eBay link down below. So before I get into this video and showing off these books, today this is the, uh, these are the keys. These are the money books, in my opinion. Um, the ones that I'm really excited were in that collection. Uh, and they're also in really great condition. I'm really happy with the condition by and far with, with all of these. Um, so in advance, uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. Uh, and you can always hit that bell down below to make sure you get notifications every time I post. All right into the hall. So uh, in no particular order, I'm going to be showing off these books uh, that are, are super awesome. So uh, Batman 635, this is the first appearance of the modern Red Hood, which turns into Jason Todd. Really nice book. I'm definitely sending this off to CGC. Another one that I'm most likely sending off is Amazing Spider-Man 365. Uh, this is the um, early appearance, cameo appearance. Uh, I think there's a poster in here of Spider-Man 2099. Um, usually when I find this book, there are spine indents all down the side. That is not the case here. Um, it, it might be a 9.6. Uh, it could be a 9.8 in my wildest dreams, but uh, it's, it's definitely a nice copy. There was a whole series of Secret Origins. Uh, I know this book doesn't go for a whole lot, um, and actually I just threw them up on, on eBay, but um, a whole run of the Secret Origins is, is available. And uh, the first issue is there. I thought they were uh, going to be more expensive than they actually are, uh, but it's these, these are cool stories nonetheless. A different artist, different characters, um, a cool era in DC Comics. Um, I wish I had time to read every single one of these books, but then I just wouldn't have a job. I'd just be reading comics, which isn't so bad, right? Uh, another cool issue, again, doesn't go for a whole lot, but uh, Spider-Woman 50, this is her last issue. Uh, she actually, I think they kill her off in this issue, sort of, but it's a little ambiguous. The series did have some magic uh, tied into it, so I'm sure that played a part, but uh, this is, I believe, Jessica Drew. This is the first Spider-Woman uh, and the end of her first series. There was, this This bag is awful, but it's Secret Origins Annual Number 3. This is the first appearance of Firebird, I believe. Firebird or Flamebird? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it says it on the cover. It doesn't. George Perez artwork, Teen Titans. Uh, really cool cover. Uh, again, not a, a, a break the bank book, but a cool book nonetheless. One that has picked up steam is this Wolverine cover eight. Uh, Wolverine's ongoing series, issue number eight, his patch persona. Um, and then with Hulk, the gray Hulk, Mr. Fix-It. And then on the back, there is um, a, a, a pinup by Rob Liefeld for all you Rob Liefeld fans. So Wolverine number eight. And I'm busting through these because there's so many. Uh, Captain America number one uh, from his series, gosh, it was in the late 2000s, I believe, Ed Brubaker series. Uh, this is the cameo appearance. You don't really see him in full, but the cameo of the Winter Soldier. Uh, the Winter Soldier appears in issue, f um, issue five or six uh, as a first full appearance, but this is the introduction cameo. Um, he actually kills the Red Skull in this issue but we know no one stays dead. I was hoping to find this book, uh, and there are some other ones of this series in there, but Daredevil, number nine, the first appearance of Echo, David Mack cover. I had this book years ago, and um, I never cared for David Mack's art. Um, it has grown on me. I really like his artwork these days, especially his pinups. Some of his variant covers are, are really sweet. So I uh, was excited to have Echo in here. There's a lot of rumors about this character. Uh, she might have some legs. There was some casting news uh, out in the MCU. Uh, potential casting news, I guess. 
Miss Marvel number one. First appearance of Carol Danvers, new stand, really nice copy. I'm probably going to get this pressed and graded. Um, I want to say it's at least an 8.5. Uh, really nice, nice cover. And definitely some Spider-Man tie-ins here. I was shocked to see this because I've, I've never found this book in a collection, even though it was widely produced back in the 90s. Spider-Man 361, first appearance of Carnage. And the bottom of it, a lot of times you see bindery tears on the bottom. There are none of those here today. Uh, so uh, this is a really nice copy. It's not a 9.8. Uh, it has a little bit of wear, not much at all. But, um, and the spine is, is really nice. Just there, there might be a little ding around the staples that uh, CGC would uh, penalize you for. But Iconic cover, one of the first Spider-Man books that I collected. Um, I bought some before that from the McFarland series, but the Carnage run was sort of my introduction to Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I was shocked to find this. I didn't even know this was in here, but um, DC Comic Presents. Uh, this is 26, yep. Uh, first appearance of the Teen Titans in that insert, George Perez. Um, so they got Superman, got Green Lantern on the cover. Uh, so uh, just a really iconic bronze, I believe, Bronze Age book. Another book I've never owned is uh, Wonder Woman 19, or <laughs> Wonder Woman 184, 1984. Uh, this is the uh, Silver Age. Uh, tribute or maybe even golden age uh, of DC Comics with the Adam Hughes cover. Iconic Adam Hughes cover. This one goes for a little bit of money. And this one I just couldn't believe was in it. First appearance of Venom, uh, Todd McFarlane, Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, another one that I'm super stoked is in the collection. Uh, this might rival the grades that of, of the ones that I have currently. I have one graded signed by Todd and then another one that's raw that I bought at the beginning of the pandemic. So um, I'm probably going to get this pressed and graded. Uh, and last but not least, it's a full run of Secret Wars. And this Secret Wars lot is, is really great. Um, I need to pull these out and look at them a little bit closer, but um, I'm gonna go backwards. Uh, but by and far, the spines are beautiful. Like I said, this is a great collection. Um, I, I feel like everything um, is in, in great condition. Uh, maybe a little pressing is needed, but uh, it, it's, it's really great stuff. Um, and so they're in excellent condition. This this one right here, newsstand, newsstand, uh, beautiful spine. Uh, so we'll see what I end up doing with this, but beautiful cover uh, of of this book. I didn't realize it was a newsstand. <laughs> uh, okay, secret word seven, six, five. Got some like Zach X Men. Iconic number four, you see this one homaged a lot. Three, two, and one. Uh, and let's just see for giggles if this is uh, the Blue Galactus variant. Um, for those that, yes it is. It's not quite a variant, it's a printing error where uh, Galactus is blue. And I think it's in more or off, more of them than, than not. So. Um, so that's the haul. Uh, super excited for these books. These are awesome books. Stay tuned um, to my other videos that I'm going to be posting, especially the next couple, uh, because I'll be showing some, some more books from this collection. Uh, I'm probably going to group them by um, some issues that I have our number one issues, some first appearances, and some uh, 90s goodness and, and things that really uh, talk about the 90s and what led to sort of the drop in the comic book market in the 90s. It's obviously back up, but there were a lot of things in the 90s that were very indicative of that time period uh, that are in this collection. So looking forward to showing those off. Thanks for watching again. Like I said, subscribe, comment down below, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time. All right, take care.